modern swinging door, structural tube steel mulling. Refer to the written installation instructions for proper drill bit and fastener sizes used throughout this video. If not done already, be sure to remove the shim blocks and nail fin from the sides of the door that you'll be mulling. Calculate the length of the tube steel for the mull by taking the outside measurement of the frame and subtract 1 8 inch. Cut the steel to this dimension. Temporarily attach mull filler blocks about 6 inches from the frame ends of the first unit you'll install. Note that this is not necessary on operating outswing hinge mulls. On in-swing hinge mulls, remove the hinges and set aside. Position the first unit in the opening. Shim and plumb the first jam on the desired vertical plane. Then fasten and shim along the jam with screws into the rough opening. Position the frame so that it's plumb in the opening and then shim and fasten the top corner opposite from the jam you just fastened. If the second unit you're installing is a door, measure 5 and 15 16 inches from the first frame and install a sill support bracket 3 and 5 16 inches from the exterior sheathing line. Place the tube steel fixture on the sill. Position the fixture so that the turned up and hemmed leg on the fixture fits into the frame curve. Make sure the fixture fits flush against the sill corner key. You might need to notch the upturned leg on your sill panel. Lay the resulting flap down to support the sill bracket. Using the holes in the fixture as a guide, pre-drill into the sill. Inject sealant into the fastener holes. Fasten the bracket to the sill with the screws provided. Fit the bottom of the tube steel over the flanges on the sill bracket and position the steel tight against the mull filler blocks. Make sure the bracket sits flat on the sill and all mounting surfaces are on the same plane with adequate structural support beneath. Shim if necessary. Clamp the tube steel to the frame. Slide the top mole bracket into the top of the tube steel. Shim the top bracket so that when it's fastened to the rough opening, it will be no more than 1 8 inch away from the top of the frame. Fasten the top bracket to the RO with the screws provided. You may want to pre-drill to avoid splitting the shim. Using the pre-drilled installation holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 bit. Fasten through the installation holes with the screws provided. Using the open holes in the head jam and jam strikes, pre-drill into the tube steel with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the strikes to the tube steel with the color match screws. On in-swing doors, replace the hinge and use the holes as a guide to pre-drill into the steel with a number 18 drill bit. Fasten the hinges to the tube steel with the color matched screws provided. Remove the temporary mole filler blocks and replace with a full length block.
set the second unit in place in the opening. Align the frames and clamp. Making sure the second frame is aligned along the correct exterior plane, shim and fasten the head jam through the pre-drilled holes in the frame. Using the pre-drilled installation holes in the frame as a guide, drill through the steel with a number 23 bit. Pre-drill at every installation hole location. Fasten through the installation holes and into the tube steel using the screws provided. On outswing doors, fasten the tube steel to the aluminum mull filler blocks. Pre-drill with a number 23 drill bit. Fasten the aluminum mull filler blocks to the tube steel with the screws provided. Remove the clamps. Measure and cut the vinyl mull filler to length to fit between the aluminum mull fillers within one eighth of an inch. Additionally, cut blocks to fit at the top and the bottom of the aluminum mull fillers minus three eighths of an inch. Temporarily install the fillers to make sure they fit properly. If the mull fillers fit properly, remove them and use those dimensions to cut blocks for the next unit. Face seal the top surface of all aluminum blocks prior to installing the vinyl blocks permanently. Apply the vinyl mull filler blocks on the second unit. Apply sealant on the top of the middle and bottom fillers of the second unit. Install the second unit and fasten to the tube steel. On all configurations, apply three beads of sealant over the mole fillers. Apply sealant to each side between the fillers and frame and one in the middle. Apply sealant on the ends of the mull filler and over the ends of the tube steel. Seat the foam blocks in the sealant at the head jam and sill at the ends of the mull filler. Install the exterior mull cap. Seat in place with a rubber mallet. Complete shimming and fastening into the rough opening at any remaining installation holes. If the tube or flat steel interrupts the back dam leg in your sill panning, you'll need to alter the panning to accommodate the structural member. Seal around the tube or flat steel after mulling is complete, but before you install the interior mull cover, seal in a manner so that incidental water cannot pass to the interior. Install the interior mull cap and seat with a rubber mallet. Structural tube steel mulling on your swinging door is now complete. Be sure to view other related videos at our YouTube channel or visit www.marvin.com.